Hi y'all, welcome back to Marzinski Family Homestead. Today I'm going to give you a, uh, a review because I think that everybody seen me running this new chainsaw out of the blue. My wife got it for me. Hey honey, are you excited about running your new chainsaw? Yeah. It's only, it's only 34 degrees. I know. So it's not bad. So different than people in Alaska, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> They're probably doing it in negative 30. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Y'all, this is his new chainsaw. He's going to crank it up and get it running. Uh, she surprised me, actually, for my birthday uh, back in January. But uh, I was using an old Poland that was given to us and I actually fixed it and made it run which I still have and it's a good little limb and saw to limb trees and stuff like that but anyway uh, I needed since we when we bought this property I needed a bigger chainsaw to, because I was doing a lot more quantity of trees and uh, I always wanted a Husqvarna and uh, I've, I've been looking for a few years and trying to pick out what I wanted pick out what I wanted and all of a sudden, you know, I was like, well, hey, I, you know, I want this size, I want that size. And I tried to got, I got something in the middle in between both because the the one I really wanted was kind of a too heavy of a chainsaw uh, to hold for a long period of time. And this one's like an in-between and it's actually a professional version. It's a, and I'm going to give you a review on this chainsaw because I've used it and I know that you've seen me in the videos use this chainsaw. Uh, all of our you know, prior videos using this, cutting down trees and making things, making our fence for our garden and so the deer don't get in there. <laughs> so I, I got a lot of use in it and it's only a five, five months old or so. Um, so anyway, I wanted to give you a review. Hey y'all, um, I just ran the new chainsaw and that sucker's pretty damn powerful. Uh, I just cut a tree up in probably less than two minutes. This is a Husqvarna Professional 545. It's a 545 size. That means it's a, a 50 cc motor on the chainsaw. So it's 50 cc's. Uh, it's a two stroke, so it, you know, the, the oil to fuel mixture is 50 to one. Um, <clears throat> the gas goes on this side, and they made this pretty nice because uh, the older style didn't have these kind of flip caps. So basically, you just flip the cap and you can turn it and loosen it up. And it's the same thing on the oil, the oil side, you flip it and you loosen it so it's basically you don't need a pair of pliers like or a screwdriver like you had to do with the older styles <clears throat> so they they increased on that when you buy this chainsaw it comes with a 20 inch bar okay uh, the range for this chainsaw it says it can it you can put an 18 inch bar up to a 24 inch bar um, but I did hear people talk and I looked online under re reviews and they said the chainsaw does have enough power to put a 28 inch bar on it, which I haven't tried, which I'm going to try later on in the future on any bigger trees I have to cut. Because I have, do on this property that we're, this off grid homestead that we have here is, you know, well, we got trees, you know, probably at least two and a half, almost three feet in diameter. Um, but as of right now, they're not coming down and they're right along the property line. So in case we have a little situation with a storm or something, that's the only time I would need to use something like that. But anyway, um, the 20 inch bar is very useful. The chainsaw is not that heavy. Um, I'd say it probably weighs, you know, I, I guess you have to look in the specs, but I don't, I don't have the specs in front of me. I can't remember how much it weighs. But it ain't, it ain't too crazy. It is a little heavy, but um, it ain't something that's going to uh, break your back holding it for a long period of time. Um, it's very easy to start. I, had no, I still have no problem starting it. Uh, they do send you with an extra oil, um, um, an extra, extra air filter. Uh, when you order this and when you buy one it comes in the box an extra air filter so if it does happen you know and all, and all it is is you pop these clips these this clip here 
and there's there's one clip on this side and there's two clips on this side and that's them right there you just pop them out and the top comes off um, another nice thing about it is uh, for many years I've used a chainsaw I never really bothered with a chain break but on these type of chainsaws you know the power they have you really it's pretty necessary and for safety uh, in case anything happens if your hand hits that it's going to stop it and the chain is not going to move uh, it won't it won't run so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, with the chain break and how sturdy it is and even after all the use I've put through it as you can see with the bar <laughs> of how, how, how wore out it is um, and even on this side uh, it, it, it's it's got a lot of hours on it so anyway I'm gonna start it up for you um, I usually just choke it once the choke is right here and then just pull So anyway, um, Husqvarna uh, is not promoting this little uh, interview on Husqvarna chainsaws. They're not promoting this. I really wish they would, <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, um, I just wanted to do a review for anybody that's looking to do off-grid and doing everything for themselves for the most part. Uh, and knowing what to buy, uh, a Husqvarna Professional 545 chainsaw, it's actually very, you know, it's not too expensive, <clears throat> and it's under a thousand dollars. I think we got this thing for like six hundred and forty dollars around that price, uh, and that that was also with the the chain oil, and I think a, a couple uh, mixtures of uh, gas oil, the oil for the uh, gas. Uh, for here since I had this chainsaw honestly I've only sharpened it one time now we did cut I've cut in probably I'd say probably 300 and something trees I can't count I know the driveway that when we cleared the driveway out it was like 130 trees and I also, after I cut them down, I cut them into firewood sizes, each tree. <laughs> so it does have a lot of hours on the chain. Um, and what kept the chain, and I cut the whole driveway without even sharpening it one time. Just, just from out of the box, I cut the whole driveway with the, the chain without, without sharpening it. And the reason for that is, is because when you cut with this chain, and when you cut with any chainsaw, the object is not to hit no metal, not to hit the dirt, and not to hit something that you're not supposed to hit other than wood. Um, and that, you know, rocks or anything. So when you're cutting, try not to hit the ground or anything. That'll dull the blades quick. Uh, and I, that's what I stride not to do. So um, after I got to the back in here, cutting the garden posts and cutting these posts, uh, I was getting into the hardwood and it did dull the blades out because uh, it just had a lot of hours on it and it was overheating a little bit and that's the reason why the paint is off of the bar is because I kind of overheated the chain and it got the paint hot so that's what made it do that uh, <clears throat> but anyway after sharpening the chain up, uh, it'll eat through hardwood no problem. Um, I can cut these trees down in seconds. Uh, I, my review on the Husqvarna Professional 545 chainsaw is very highly recommended for off-grid homestead. And if I had to buy another one, I would buy another one. And also, the price is pretty reasonable, and it's not dramatically expensive. <clears throat> and it's with it, you know. 
the size of everything. You, you can pretty much, it's a versatile saw. You can limb with it, you can cut trees down with it, you can cut firewood with it. it it's like a, a perfect happy medium saw you can do everything with. It's not just a limbing saw, it's not just a you know a cut down tree saw it's 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 something you can do everything with so my my review on this saw is very highly recommended i appreciate watching Brzezinski family homestead if you haven't subscribed yet please uh subscribe hit the notification bell on the side so every time we post a new video it'll let you know that we posted a new video may god bless you like he has us and We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.